of schedules, but it was a good bounce back game after losses uh, to Georgetown and Marquette. Put the W in your pocket yeah. on a bounce back game after Saturday night war with Marquette. They came out tonight, little sluggish out of the gate, to be expected, then really showed some good defensive intensity in the second half. Well, Lenny, one of the things we talked about on the pregame broadcast was the fact that Cincinnati has been a very up and down team. Depending on how they shoot threes, they didn't shoot them well tonight, and you hit it right on the head. Well, like we said, you know, the Mendoza line was 33%. That's what they were shooting coming in, 6 of 20 tonight, and you know, the flip side of that is when you're taking a lot of threes, you're not getting to the foul line. Only four trips to the foul line for Cincinnati. Well, Mike Williams tried to keep Cincinnati in the game early in the second half. They trailed at the break by three points, and then Williams came out and got very hot. He's, a, he's not a guy that you look at because you think about Deontay Vaughn so much with, with Cincinnati, but he kept them in it early in the second well, half. Vaughn has to have some help, and right now, tonight's game really showed an inexperienced young team against a veteran team, especially on the road. Cincinnati, two good home wins, but tonight they really didn't have enough experience, enough offensive firepower to sustain all Providence's weapons. Mike Williams had 21. He led everybody in the game. But Lenny, here's what we're talking about. Wide open three, can't knock it down. You know, and the wide open threes are okay. You know, the, the shots that we're seeing here, they're okay. But there were several times in this game where they came down and they had Deontay Vaughn or, you know, somebody else pulling up from NBA range three. You can't have those kind of shots. You've got to get the shot clock down. Sherrod Curry, solid for Providence in this game. 12 points, 5 assists. Well, he's the guy that really stirs the drink for them because he gets to push the ball in transition. He can get to the rack. He shoots the three very, very well. He's starting to feel himself after having a year off. Played unselfishly on both ends of the floor. And how about the big fellow, Randall Hankey? He's a career 60, almost 68 percent shooter at Providence. Best ever uh, field goal percentage wise. He had uh, well 15 points off the bench. Well, right from up on Fifth Avenue up the street here, Randall Hankey can do a lot of different things. I think he runs the floor as good as any big man in the country. He goes from north to south, finishes, catches well in transition, and as you said. There's a lot of great Providence players over the year, years, but he's number one in field goal percentage career. And, you know, what a luxury to have a seven-footer like that coming off the bench for you on occasion. You know, seven to seven tonight, and that tells you that he understands what shots he should be taking. Providence uh, beating Cincinnati for the second time in 12 days. They beat them up on uh, January the 7th uh, by a final of 87 to 79, and then they get the job done in this game. Uh, Cincinnati had a chance now to get back to 500 in the conference, and that would have been big for Mick Cronin, and he couldn't get it done. Well, there's everyone's talking about the top 25 teams, but the teams really in the next group maybe will have a chance to get to the tournament, and that's West Virginia, that's Providence, that's Cincinnati, that's possibly Seton Hall if they can start getting some wins as their schedule gets a little easier. So tonight was a big game, especially when you could sweep a team early, and that's what Providence did. You know, it's interesting. I just heard Tim mention West Virginia. You have